Hey friends and welcome to the Flu Abroad series. My name is Zoya. I am part of the LIRCU, the Languages and Intercultural Relations Course Union. I'm in my third year um, in LIR. I'm majoring in Spanish. I'm minoring in French um, and my stream is translation. And I just wanted to hop on here and give a little bit of my own experiences and advice in terms of being an international student and coming to Toronto um, and getting used to everything that there is to know and get used to in the city. Um, I moved from Cyprus originally and then I came here for grade 12. <clears throat> so technically in a way I was an international student but already had been and visited Canada before. I'd say that one of the biggest things um, that I would advise before coming is doing research. I think that doing research is super important in learning about the different areas, the different parks we have here, the different grocery store locations, uh, where the closest library is. Um, all those kinds of things are super important to kind of get a feel for before coming here. And I find that if you can reach out and um, either get a pen pal who's already here or call the universities and really get to know um get someone that you can be in touch with before coming here that'll be super helpful um culture is a big one uh even though i came from cyprus which is quite a concoction of many different cultures and many different people and is very internationally friendly i'd say that coming to canada definitely opened my eyes up to how multicultural the city really is and how you know, you have to come here with an open mind. You have to come here without biases and really be willing to learn and adapt to the cultures that exist here, that coexist because there are so many. I'd say that, you know, some stereotypes are definitely true. I found that um, more or less most Canadians in quotations have been super open, super friendly. They do say sorry if you bump into them. Um, and even if you don't bump into them, you just slightly nudge them, even on the subway. Um, and so I'd say in general, you are walking into a really uh, diversely open community here, whether at Ryerson, within the student groups or otherwise. Um, I'd say that, you know, it'll always be a little bit difficult at first, but if you do make some connections to help you along the way, it makes a big difference. Even when I was here in grade 12 and I didn't know anybody, you really need to make sure you speak up for yourself and really try and uh, get yourself out there, get your name out there, uh, get people to know who you are and uh, really make that big first leap. Um, secondly, I want to talk a little bit about housing because last July I moved out. I was living with my parents and I'm assuming most of you will be coming here either to live in student housing or to look for, you know, residences outside in, within the GTA. So housing's pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but I would say that you can get lucky. Kijiji is one of my favorite websites. When I moved out, I moved out with my best friend and I found a place for $675 a month each um in scarborough so it's about an hour commute um to ryerson for example and to any other university you may or may not apply to um i find that it's important to make sure you get to know the area well get to know where the grocery stores are are they really far away are they within reach uh, are there restaurants nearby are there um you know some shopping malls that you know could be nearby um for example, since I'm in Scarborough, I live at an intersection called Huntingwood and Branch Mount, and nearby I have, you know, a Tim Hortons, which is uh, probably the most well-renowned um, coffee snack uh, shop, shop, cafe, in a way, um, that we have here in Canada, um, where you can get super cheap donuts, coffee, um, and it's only a minute walk away from me. So things like that are super important to take into consideration. Um, when looking for student housing, I have found that on Facebook there's a lot of good resources. You can join different student groups um, and just request to be allowed to join and they'll let you in and you'll be able to ask your questions and you can even make postings saying, you know, I'm new here and I'm looking for so, so and so and people would be more than happy to help you out. Um, I'd say that Scarborough and Mississauga, which are two of the cities within the GTA, are somewhat cheaper than downtown Toronto where, you know, prices will be between 1100 1500 and upwards just for a one bedroom so it depends on where you're looking for um 
I was also going to say that if you are super into fashion, into clothing, but you're on a budget, Toronto has you covered. One of my favorite things about Toronto that I find Europe didn't really have much of, or at least the region in which I lived, is thrifting. Um, we have shops like Black Market, we have shops like Value Village um, that are super, super useful if you're on a budget and you're just looking to, you know, uh, get some vintage clothing or get secondhand clothing um, that is usually in almost perfect condition if you get lucky. Um, I think Black Market's one of my favorite. It's downtown, super vintage vibe. Everything's like $10 and if it's more expensive, you're it's a you're getting a bang for your buck um but yeah thrifting is going to be one of the highlights when you do come to toronto i'd also say in terms of advice for grocery shopping avoid the expensive ones so loblaws is one of the most expensive ones whole foods is super expensive because they're you know more healthy than some other grocery stores that we have for example no frills no frills is super cheap they always have deals um what's another one i like going to freshco freshco is excellent but metro is another good one that uh, we have at ryerson and on i believe it's tuesdays thursdays and fridays i might need to be corrected if i'm wrong we have um a 10 percent discount for students so that's really great if you are here on your own and you're not being financially supported necessarily um and yeah i'd 